Zdravstvo, Tsitovrishi, and welcome back to another episode of our glorious Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Let's Play. We're on a mission for fission today as we return across the river, as we return to our work from the previous session, as we return to our nuclear city. Or perhaps I should say at first, our nuclear power plant and everything that entails. Folks, there is a lot to accomplish in today's episode, so I will not bore you with a prolonged introduction. I just want to mention, as always, if you've been enjoying this series, if you would like to see it continue, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, the number of likes and comments lets me know how interested folks are in a certain series, so it lets me know if I should keep going, if I should slow down. And I also read through each and every comment, so if you have any suggestions, thoughts, tips, opinions, or anything, feel free to share it down below. It will be read and it will be acted upon or responded to in one way, shape, or form. With all that said and done, let's get this party started, shall we? The first order of business today actually is with regards to not the uh, nuclear city, but some new information, I suppose, uh, we've been given from the latest dev blog post, or the la latest dev post, or the latest dev diary. That's the word I was looking for. I knew it would come to me eventually. Um, it's some pretty interesting stuff, really excited. Again, as always with the uh, Sunday sessions now, we are taking a look at the uh, dev blog that releases on Friday and just quickly discussing it. And uh, there's some, there's some, yeah, there's some interesting stuff. So for, first of all, yeah, as far as my uh, <laughs> interests are concerned, I will no longer have to do control C-H-E to activate the cheat mode, to go over here, to go over here and click on line spacing as of this next update because line spacing moving forward will become a default part of the game. This was suggested to me many, 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 many sessions ago, maybe even before episode 100. Uh, it was suggested that I should start turning this thing on because it's not actually a cheat. It is um, experimental at the moment. They weren't sure if it was going to work properly. And so they were just kind of testing it out by hiding it behind this cheat menu. Um, and it's actually, uh, it's supposed to create sort of equidistant, I guess, spacing between all the vehicles in a line. They're making that an official part of the game as of the next update, which hopefully is, you know, around the corner. They're supposed to be testing. Potentially, they're starting internal testing this weekend. If not this weekend, then uh, next week, I believe, is the plan. So it's, you know, it's starting to get, uh, get down the pipeline, as it were. On the topic of pipelines, that was a completely unintentional segue, actually. <laughs> they are planning on implementing a new type of power plant, which is kind of funny considering we're working on a <laughs> different new kind of power plant. Uh, but this uh, this new kind of power plant is going to, at present, be powered by uh, oil. And the plan they have is uh, to later on switch that over to natural gas. And I think I touched on this when we were initially putting down our oil fields. Uh, I can't recall right now, but I was certainly thinking it. Uh, typically, natural gas pockets are found alongside oil deposits. Now, I can't remember this. I, I learned this in like chemistry class back in like eighth grade or ninth grade or something. I can't remember. I believe natural gas pockets are like a, a layer above oil pockets is usually where they form. Uh, and so normally when you're drilling for oil, you will also um, drill for, for natural gas. Now, I'm sure natural gas pockets also happen uh, separately. Uh, but I, I again, I'm not. This is not my area of expertise at all. Just an anecdote, I suppose. But uh, but yeah. So it seems as though they're planning on integrating natural gas as well. That's not coming at the same time as this new power plant. So right now, the power plant will be powered by oil, and it sounds like eventually they're planning on switching it to be a natural gas power plant. And I assume that natural gas will be um, acquired through similar means as uh, as oil, uh, perhaps even maybe even as a part of the, the processing um, of oil, we'll see oil byproducts happen. Um, and that would be interesting. I don't know if it'll happen at a refinery instead, no details. I, I, don't, I don't think they, I'm trying to remember the blog post, I don't think they shared any details about how that natural gas will come, but we know that it's a, it's a part of the, uh, the plan for the game moving forward. Um, so I spoke about, uh, spoke about that for a little bit too long there. Uh, beyond that, they're also changing a little bit about mines. Uh, I've mentioned this countless times, uh, that when you're going around and you're about to place a mine down, as, you know, we were doing literally last session, when you're going to put a mine down right now, all you really get is, uh, this indication of, uh, source quality, but it's a visual indicator with no actual, uh, sort of, numerical point of reference. So they're changing that. They're actually going to put in a, a number that tells you exactly what kind of source quality you can expect. Uh, and that'll help avoid situations like what we have at Rostinsky, where our uh, iron mine over here has a quality of 
7% from the source, and that's, uh, or, or source quality, I should say, of 7%, which is uh, shameful. <laughs> it's uh, really bad. Uh, we knew it was going to be bad, but we didn't know it was going to be that bad. And had we known, perhaps we would have taken a different approach to Rostinsky as a whole. So I'm really glad to see that this is actually, uh, again, a part of the part of the plan. Uh, it'll be coming with this uh, next update from the sound of things. Uh, there are a couple of other things as well. They are introducing new vehicles, a bunch of vehicles from Yugoslavia, which I'm excited for, I, I gotta say. Um, I was very young, but I did live in Yugoslavia back when Yugoslavia was still Yugoslavia. Uh, so there's a, it's got a place in my heart. So I'm, 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 I'm looking forward to, to some of those vehicles, I suppose. And beyond that as well, there is some talk of um, integrating fuel to more spaces. Uh, one that I recall right off the top of my head is distribution offices. Uh, as an example, these guys and a few other places as well will start, I believe construction offices are included in this conversation, uh, they will start storing fuel for themselves. So much like a, say, rail construction office, uh, where they store fuel for their rail construction vehicles, we're going to start seeing distribution offices and uh, construction offices and more besides have... Uh, have, have fuel storages so that their vehicles don't have to go somewhere else to pick up fuel. They'll just refuel when they're at their sort of home base, when they're at their headquarters, so to speak. And I think that's a nice touch. It will make distributing fuel a bit more complex as you'll have to start distributing to, uh, to more sort of touch points. Uh, but in the long run, I suppose it will help with efficiency. And it also makes sense, I guess, to store like... Yeah, I would say I would say it makes sense to store fuel at some of these offices and whatnot, just so you're able to you know, have a full tank of gas when you head out, rather than being like, right, my first order of business is to actually go to a gas station. Um, but anyway, uh, those are I think all the major changes. Otherwise, they touched on. I mean, they shared some screenshots as well about the, the helicopters and stuff that are coming. So that's all exciting. Uh, really looking forward to this next update. It's gonna be it's gonna be a big one. It's gonna be a big one, and they're always big ones, aren't they? Um, that actually brings me to the next topic of conversation as we try and maybe get some of this stuff going over here. And that is with regards to the future of this series. Uh, now, I've been saying repeatedly, folks, as you leave your likes and comments, it makes, and again, this is this is a very serious business here. Your likes and comments makes a very big difference with regards to what I do on the channel. Just as a reminder, this was supposed to be a mini series. It was going to be 10 episodes and I was going to move on. But I was having so much fun with the game and... Uh, you know, when I'm having fun with the game, that means I can obviously just play it on the side. But many of you were having fun watching the game, watching my trials and tribulations, uh, watching us develop this glorious nation, and you kept letting me know. And so we kept this series going, and it's gone on for a very long time now. It's very exciting stuff. Uh, I've been loving it. Uh, but as we cross that episode 175 milestone, as we're getting into nuclear power, and as we're thinking back on things like... Um, uh, seasons, which by the way, there are mods I can use to help ease us into seasons. It might not be a bad idea to, to oh god, to ease into seasons. Oh, ugh, make me stop. Um, <laughs> help me stop, rather. Uh, so that is, uh, these these topics of conversation have, have started evolving about like, when is it time to call it uh, an end to this series and maybe begin a new season? Uh, so we'll continue playing, but uh, from scratch. A uh, completely new city, uh, completely new challenges, a completely new um, sort of outlook right from the beginning um, so that we're not going to struggle with some of the things that we struggle with uh, from my lack of initial you know, knowledge about the game and, and knowledge about how certain things work like semaphores. Um, you know, that, that, that would be the plan if we were to kick off a new season. And we've talked about this in the past countless times. Initially, my plan was to wait until there was a 1.0 release of the game and then do it then because we'd know that all the major updates had been done and there would be no more game-breaking game updates coming our way, sorry, uh, and, and we could confidently move on to a new season. But it looks like that new, uh, that, that 1.0 release is maybe further along, rather not further along, sorry, but further away than I had initially anticipated. Uh, we've blown past, I believe, the original planned release date. Uh, and I'm not too upset about that or anything. I mean, normally it's something that's like, oh man, it's too bad. But we are uh, we are seeing a very clear reason as to why those delays are happening. Um, there are some huge changes with every update. Every, every month, every quarter, we are seeing massive... Oops, I missed one. Uh, every quarter, we're seeing massive changes. And uh, and now with these dev diaries, we're, we're seeing... Uh, you know, sooner than every quarter or, or whatever the gap is, we're seeing exactly what's being worked on. We're seeing the future of this game. We're seeing why it's still in development, why it hasn't released out of early access yet. Uh, now, your opinion on prolonged early access periods and my opinions on early access periods set aside, 
what that means is I have to reconsider my initial thoughts on, uh, uh, on, on, on when I switch to a new season. I just love to hear your thoughts on it. Right now, I mean, we've been talking about this nuclear city thing for so very long, so I definitely want to at least accomplish that uh, before we move on. I feel like it would be a nice, maybe, uh, end to our uh, to the season. Maybe we'll actually get to 2021, and that'll be <laughs> the end to our season or something. I, I like ending on 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 sort of milestones, if you will. Uh, but the, we've talked about the nuclear city for so very long. I would hate to just be like, yeah, I know I talked about it, but let's. Let's not do that. Let's start from scratch. I feel, I don't know, I just feel like I'm excited for it as well myself, and I also feel like many of you are excited for it, so I, would, uh, I, would, I wouldn't want to do that, but uh, I'm throwing it out there to get your opinions on when to do it. Are we ready to do? Uh, are we ready to do it? Sorry, or are we are we kind of like wanting to, to stick with this? I feel like moving on is a good idea, but it's also going to be a difficult decision. I'm not going to lie. It's going to. Uh, it's oh man, we've been with this nation. I keep saying city, I think, but we've been with this nation for so long. Um, it'll be it'll be a different a, a difficult transition, um, and I also have to concern myself with like with sorry myself with things like. Oh, are people still going to be interested? Do you still want to watch? Is the viewership going to drop off significantly and then make it unsustainable? Because at the end of the day, I do have to think about, uh, again, just being realistic and transparent here. This is my livelihood, so I do have to consider that as well. Uh, so all those things kind of like make me uh, make me think and, and ponder with regards to my approach. So I'd love to hear it from, from all of y'all. You know, are you interested in seeing... Uh, a new season sometime soon. If a new season starts, will you stop watching completely? Are you, you know, extremely attached to this season and so you don't care for a new one, for a new nation? Uh, whether it happens soon or, you know, ages from now. Uh, I'd love to get a temperature check because, uh, like I always say, your viewership is what makes this channel possible. And uh, without it, things would be very different, not just for the channel, but just for, you know, my life in general. Uh, and so I, I take your opinions and your thoughts seriously into consideration um, anytime a big decision like this needs to be made. Uh, obviously, a lot of the time I have to make a decision on my own because there are factors that I have to take into consideration um, just on a personal level or, or what have you. But, uh, but, but I do like to know people's opinions. And this is one of those examples where, uh, where I would really like to know your opinion um, with regards to a decision that is fast approaching. Again, I'm not saying it's going to happen tomorrow, uh, but it's not going to happen. It's not a decade away. You know, it's not a whole year away. Um, so, uh, so yeah, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be good to kind of like get an idea of where people stand, where people sit, where people lay, <laughs> whichever, whichever is your speed, I suppose, uh, on that, uh, on the topic of discussion and, uh, and how I should plan around it. I think folks are pretty excited for a new season, and I think it would also bring perhaps some fresh eyes. It is intimidating to dive into an uh, a series that's already 170 plus episodes in, so I feel like that would bring in some fresh eyes and stuff as well. And it would, again, give us a fresh start where some of the old struggles, well, hopefully we've learned from them and we'd be able to move on from them. Anyway, I think I've rambled on that topic for long enough. Basically, long story short, let me know what you think about a new season. Would you be interested in watching a new season? Would you hate if I started a new season? Um, and that's a question of sooner or later, it's going to happen. Um, and then separately, you know, would you rather it happen sooner or would you rather it happen later? In fact, you know what? Pinned comment down below, there'll be a poll with a couple of options. Um, and again, it's not uh, it's not a vote that'll determine uh, anything per se. It's a vote for me to understand where people, again, sit, stand or lay, I suppose. Um, all right, that is, uh, that is enough of that ramble. I apologize it went on for so long, but I am glad that I was able to multitask during it. And I think this loop makes sense. Um, we have, let's just do a quick uh, overview of this and we can hit play and, and, and let this build and, and manage this section a little bit before we go across the river. So we've got trains that are coming up this way with resources and they're going, they're going, they're going. They pull off to the side over here and then either they pull off to the side over here and deposit steel at the, uh, uh, at the, at the open storage over here. And just to double check, this is limit amounts um, and I think it's steel only that we're going to put over here, right? We don't need any of this other stuff. Yeah, not over here. So it's only going to be steel. Uh, you know what would have been easier was just <laughs> clicking steel to 100%. My bad. Um, and that steel will then get transported via forklift to the electronics assembly hall. Nope, it will not be sent there. It will be sent via this factory connection to the mechanical components. Uh, it'll be sent down to the electro electrical components using the forklift factory. Forklift, forklift garage, sorry. Those same forklifts will be sending these 
up here and from here this will send stuff up over here okay all good uh, hopefully they'll all be able to carry this stuff I and mean, we've seen it in action down to here as well uh, where we should be changing our focus to electronics mechanical components and and what else electronic components everything else can be zero if i'm not mistaken we're not storing clothes down here so everything else can be zero oh and plastics as well i suppose because the trains that are coming okay the trains that are coming up right i was like what's going on over here uh forgetting my own work the trains that are coming up will also if you're not depositing steel go up around the bend down this way and then you'll either go over here to the warehouse to drop off, yes, plastics and then move on. Or if you're the steel train, probably you're going to go around, you're going to skip past this, use the bypass, come down over here. And then either way, you end up on this line, you end up over here, you're on the right side, you go down and back over. Yeah, so this all makes sense. And then you come down over here. No, you come down over here, which we also want to pay for. This is going to be, this is going to be a hot mess. Uh, I'll be the first to admit this is going to be a bit of a hot mess over here as we get all this up and running. But uh, hopefully we get it running. We're definitely going to get it up. Are we going to get it running is the question. Um, <laughs> I guess that's the question as the nation ages. All right. Let's go ahead and get all this done. I, you know what? I completely slipped my mind that we have this entire section that we'll need to build as well. Either it slipped my mind or uh, my, uh, my fears... Uh, Prevented me from looking down south over here. Let me get all this done as well. I do also love that over the course of this uh, series, we've uh, we've established a north and south, even though it might not be the accurate north and south. But listen, it works for our purposes. All right, holy crap. That is a hefty investment, but again, we got the money for it, so we're fine. All things are connected. Uh, why don't we go ahead and, um, yeah, invest in these as well, right? Fun from rubles. We're not worried about anything up top over there. No, we're not. Yep, fund from rubles. Go ahead and put down some additional chains over here. In fact, this would be a mixed, I believe, facing that way. Because this is a junction, but this is clear. Uh, and over here, we're fine. Well, actually, if it's a two-way, maybe it should no longer be a two-way. In fact, yeah, why is it a two-way? It's not like a train can ever come up this way. Well, silly of me. I guess this uh, this semaphore changed things, right? All right, so that's fine, hopefully. Um, but I guess there is the junction up over here. So maybe this should be mixed as well, actually, now that I think about it. Um, or, sorry. Chain going up this way, coming back this way, but this is a two-way. It's not a two-way anymore. Should it be? Guess not. Okay, so flip you around. This is gonna be this is gonna be messy. Maybe I should have waited for this. Maybe I should have done this after we had our nuclear uh, power up and running. But that just feels so long away. So 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 far away. I mean. So over here, you're checking. You come up this way. I don't want to wait all the way up to here. Do I? Go up this way. Maybe I do. We'll we'll see how these distances work out. And we keep going. This has already been split up. I already did some of these semaphores, which is great tried to get ahead of this, I suppose. Alright, we're good, we're good. I don't know what it is about these semaphores that always, like, kind of throws me off, or, or just, I'm just not, I'm still not comfortable with them. No matter how many, like, tutorial videos I watch, or what have you, still just not finding my comfort level with them. Sometimes they work out, sometimes it's like, yeah, okay, I have figured it out, but then every every once in a while, something will happen, I'll be like, have I figured this out, or am I just getting lucky? I'll be the first to admit that I'm not, uh, I'm still not 100% confident in some of these things. Alright, 62.9 is our population 2100 21 pluses living with their families still i'd say we've done a pretty good job of uh of reducing some of these uh these numbers that need reducing I'd say we're doing okay say we're doing okay and then uh the population continues to rise as well i'd say we're doing pretty good overall escapees oh hey that looks like that number has dropped last year Oof, okay maybe maybe it requires a bit more dropping anyway let's go ahead and uh hit play and continue this love letter to uh, workers and resources. Just noticed it's the day after Valentine's Day. All right, let's begin. See the tracks getting built. 
Oh, these ones built really quickly, eh? Oh, there's a section left over here. I was hoping to be able to catch uh, to catch these getting built and then also catch these getting built. Uh, did I actually... Have we got these semaphores down over here done? Of course, the sun's going to set right away. Alright, the question now becomes... How do we organize our train movements? And how long do I want to invest in, in this area rather than up there? You know, I think last session I even mentioned that I'm going to come back over here and do all this while the nuclear city is building, but I couldn't help myself. Could not help myself. All right, where's my steel train? You are my first order of business here, steel train. Where are you? Here you are. So you right now go up to, go from the Oksalinski steel mill all the way up to here, where you're probably not dropping anything off because you're basically full over here. So why don't we go ahead and unload, let's say, 50%, if even that. We're not going to wait until unloaded. Uh, and then continue all the way down to, this is, this is going to be a wild ride, all the way down to here, where you're going to unload the rest of your steel. Currently still loading up. Okay, so that could work. Looks like this train is still operating okay. Great. So that is... That is what? That's steel taken care of. Next, we have all the stuff from this warehouse. So where is this train? There you are. We're taking fabric, clothes... Oh, you know what? Fabric as well we need over here. Right. For the, uh, for the, for, for the vehicles. I forgot about that. We do need fabric here as well. Um... Sure, I guess we could drop that a bit. I, th I think that's a reasonable spread. Probably drop electronics a bit as well. Maybe eventually at one point we'll we'll bring electronics from down here up to uh, the Saint Elizberg and, and and whatnot as well. We'll we'll see about that. But okay. So you're going around all the way up to here to drop stuff off. Well, we have a decent amount of stuff. Plastics are being used up. Well, actually, it's not that they're being used up. They are being exported. So why don't we go ahead and stop the export of plastics, perhaps? Uh, I believe the covered... Yep. Let's go ahead and send you to... Where is... Here. You as well. No, your electronics are fine. Got a few vehicles over here. Electronics, plastics here as well. You're going back. You up over here as well. Okay. So that should stop the export of plastics. Now, what is our line over here? Buddy's coming up. You drop everything off over here. That's okay. I'm trying to figure out what the loop should be. If you're all the way down over here, you load up on some plastics and some loads and all that kind of stuff. It's it's unfortunate because it's right in the middle. Uh, perhaps the better idea would be to have a separate train entirely uh, take stuff up over here rather than the same train. Just to maintain both of them efficiently. Don't know. Okay, you know what? Here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. Uh, so you load 20 and 100 and then you go here to unload 100% of Here's what we'll do. Sorry. Delete that stop. So you load up. Then you go back up north. And then after you go up north, you come back over here. You're going to do that anyway. Back over here. And you load this time 20% of plastics. And you stay here. You continue to load chemicals, fabrics, and not clothes, yeah. And then you continue up over here. Where are we? Here, and unload chemicals and fabrics. That seems to make sense to me. Because then what we do, then after that, you come back over here. So it's basically a, a pendulum, almost. It's a, it's a, it's a pendulum. It starts over here, goes up, or it goes up there. Comes back down, goes over here. Yeah, it, it is a it is a pendulum. And uh, on the top of pendulums, let's uh, keep time going, shall we? And see if that works out. 
where is my steel train actually? Hold on. I want to watch that steel train do its uh, do its thang as it were because I want to see if this works. Wow, it actually unloaded. Oh no, that's not good. Well, it's fine. I what I want to do is I want to see how this train gets down there. It it unloaded more uh, more steel than I'd expected is the problem. I'm going to spend another like 5 minutes on this area. And then the rest of the session will be with regards to our... Uh, oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. The sun rises, these two trains going kind of in tandem. We have our cargo lines and our passenger lines separated. Ah, uh, it's just this game, man. Honestly. Honestly. Um, and look at that. Another train coming through. I am so pleased with this section of our nation. It's just so cool. <laughs> and no other, no, other, no other city builder, I think, has made me feel quite how Workers and Resources has made me feel as I've learned and developed uh, the nation. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, I think that would kind of split the episode nicely where we spent half of it uh, tackling this stuff and then half of it tackling some of the new stuff. And there are some adjustments I actually have to make to the work we did last time. All right, let's see how this section works over here. So hypothetically, we'd be carrying steel right now. There it is. That's how this works. Gonna be a bit of troubleshooting here. So what's the problem? The problem is you we're coming this way. Oh, this is going to be a serious problem. And you should have stopped before you got here. Oh, why didn't you? Was it because this should have been a chain? This guy's coming down over here as well. So he's going to he's going to actually continue through. So if I make this into a chain, should it be mixed or should it be a chain? No, it should be, it should be a chain. It should be one way. All right, so now he's going to stop back there. This train should have stopped back here, and I think it would have if this was a chain. So why don't we... Okay, why don't we try this? Let's flip you around. Back to the Petrograd warehouse. Let's flip you around back to the steel mill. Hopefully... No, we're, we're, we're on the wrong side of the crossing. That's okay, though. That's okay, though. Because what I'm actually hoping for is... Um, is that this guy will keep going over here? Maybe? No, keep going, buddy. Keep going. Um, I wonder if I could place a waypoint. I'm trying to get a little messy, but... From... Go towards that waypoint. We're gonna clear this space out over here, basically. That's going back. Come on, come on, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Go, 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 go. I believe in you. This guy's turning around as well. Red light, red light. That's stuck over here. Hmm. All right, let's go ahead and cancel the semaphore. There, that'll do the trick. Get ready to put it down right away. Go, 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 go. Because I want to, I want to test this, right? Like, I want to make sure this is working right now. Deal with it once and for all, basically. Um, I, I think I, I see my mistake over here. I'm fairly confident I have the fix over here, but um, I guess stopping back there again. Okay, so let's flip you around. And let's get you going towards, not this waypoint anymore, but Zacha's open storage. Flip you around. Go ahead and flip this around as well. Right? There's a long lineup of trains. This guy's still waiting to come back. To load up. Fair enough. There's going to be a bit of a backup over here, but I think that's fine. Alright, so what's the deal? Let's go ahead and get the uh, semaphores back up. I see you're still willing to go down here. Are you? Or is this light blue? It's not blue, it's green. So this is actually going to go down here. It's going to get stuck over here. That's not ideal. So what if what if this was a chain as well? There we go. Now we should stop over here, seeing that it can't go where it needs to go. I should hope. Yes, excellent. Okay, good, 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 good. So you're stuck 
over no you're not no nope, that's not good why would you keep going and you go where you need to go oh i guess you can actually you're just gonna keep going straight aren't you yeah you are oh beautiful you know what okay it's worked out i i misinterpreted its route but it uh the the logic still applies and still works off in the distance over there actually i should probably keep an eye on that what's going on over here What's going on over here? You're stuck there. Because these guys are maybe looking too far now. Come up to here. Hmm. Should this be a mixed? And change this into a chain because that'll unlock you but then here you'll get stuck even though you can go up top there you're not going to and why is that this is where i start to get like what <laughs> uh should this be a regular semaphore instead or do i need a regular one in the middle over here that just seems too tightly packed But that'll, that'll do the job here, for now at least. Where's my steel train over here? Coming up. Oh, there we go. I wanted to catch this part. As it separates up over here. I want to see the first go around the loop over here. Oh, bit of a problem here. Got to get this thing built. Alright. So you would arrive over here. Dump all your steel. And then, ideally, you'd have track right in front of you. That you'll be able to use. <laughs> Whoops. You keep going. Come on, baby. I believe in you. There we are. Yes. Off we go. This is this is exciting. Around the bend. Yep. All the way through. Yeah, this is very exciting, actually. Gonna switch to this side, okay. Left side, because you're avoiding right the warehouse. That makes sense. And off you go. You're gonna wait here, yeah, because that train's coming through. And as soon as it passes through the next semaphore, which is up over here, yeah, you're gonna go through. Yo, I think this works. <laughs> I, I think this works. The question is, can it make its way back? Right, and once we see if it can make its way back, we're uh, we're done over here, I think. We're gonna go, and we'll we'll come back periodically to just check if there's any jamming. So now you're on your way here, right? And keep going past this junction, past this junction, and at this next junction, it's gonna go to the left, where I think I see some tracks that still need building. Pay for you and pay for you. Oh, decided not to go that way. Presumably because those tracks were not built. That's on me. But it works out because there's no uh, oil train here. So, you know, why wait? Just, yeah, use this main central track. Keep going by. Clip that truck. Keep moving. All right, what's the deal here? So you're going to go ahead and get onto that right side up there. Yeah, excellent. You're going to get past that semaphore. And then back over here, we're going to get unlocked. Man, this is so exciting. I mean, again, I don't know if this is perfect. I don't know if it's going to work um, super smoothly. But just to see this complicated network of trains coming together, you know, maybe not there yet, but it's coming together. This train over here, you are now headed to the warehouse to get over to Zacha. You know what? One last thing to watch over here, folks. I, I know, I know, I've, I've dedicated a fair bit of time to, to this, even though, even though we have that aforementioned mission for fission. I just want to make sure that this is also uh, working. You could, you could, you could, you could call this a mission for efficiency, huh? Good there. All right. This is a faster train too. We'll, we'll, we'll get there in a moment. We'll get there shortly, and then I can move on with a little less stress. I'm, I'm, I'm sure there will still be some blockages and whatnot, but at least at that point, like whatever, we'll come back periodically, like I was saying. All right, round the bend. I also enjoy doing these like maiden voyages and many of you have asked for them in the past as well. Just like, hey, yeah, it's nice to kind of get this low kind of like at the ground level look. Um, and I, I, I like them as well. 
you get to appreciate the city and the nation rather again I should say uh, in a way that you don't uh, don't normally um, so I figure why not is a as good an opportunity as any to take some time to, to do exactly that look at that that train off the distance ah beautiful all right we're gonna flip in over here we gonna stop here it seems because there is that train beautiful this is working great I'm glad I could test this as well so now that's gonna come up to the left side it's gonna clear out we're gonna get the green light over here Right. He's stuck over here because our tail is too big. Oh yeah, we're blocking his, his his right turn. We come up over here. We should be able to come through because we are going to be going straight down. We're not... Oh no, actually, we're stopping at this warehouse, right? We're going to come through. We're going to take this junction over, run over a couple people. <laughs> no big deal, Todish. Right, at the warehouse. At the warehouse, we're going to load up. I don't know if this train is actually going to load up. There's not much loading to do. Uh, pick up some fabric, sure. It's got 10 tons of plastic. Alright, good stuff. And then we keep moving. And this... Okay, this is a good test, because there is a fuel train uh, loading up right now on the left there, as you can see. So we're going to go down over here. going to pause for a second, because this still needs building. This is for workers, that that line. Alright, you're going to come down over here. Such, a, uh, such an interesting tiered rail structure the right side there's no reason this shouldn't work yo it's working oh man hell yeah oh it feels so good it's so cool man it's so cool all right cool um <laughs> so you're coming up this way you should be good so we push through um i want to clean that up it's a little messy it's fine it's fine for now i'm not going to touch it now over here we're going to bypass the steel storage area of course going to scoot on by and this time around we're going to stick to the right side and uh, deposit our wares at this warehouse how slick is that that is super cool man and we don't have to see the rest of this because we know how the rest of this goes right we, we've seen it before. Okay, beautiful. Fantastic. I believe I can now move on. Things up over here are moving smoothly. Uh, no jamming down over here, looks like. Yeah, we're good. No jamming down over here. Uh, just doing a quick cursory glance. Steel train is loading up. It's on its way out now. Cool. We'll, we'll check back in a minute. All right. Back on uh, back on topic. I mean, it's all it's all a part of the nation. It's all a part of the the topic, I suppose. But over here, so there are there's a there's a couple things that I forgot to take into consideration last session, and uh, and that includes sort of buffer storage areas, and I'm going to write that wrong right now. Uh, over here, now just some quick math again to, to double check my math because there I, I might have made a mistake. Where is my energy related? There we go. So uranium mine produces 0.75 times 100. 100 would be 75 tons of uranium ore per day with maximum number of workers, right? I'm not like 0.75 times 100. That's simple math. I shouldn't be getting that wrong. Yes. 75%. Yeah, that's 75 tons of uranium ore. Unless I'm like having a complete breakdown right now, I should be able to do the simple math. <laughs> I'm decent at maths, I promise. Uh, so that's 75 tons. 75 tons of uranium ore should be able to sustain two of these processing plants because it consumes 36 tons. 36 times two is 72 tons. 72 tons is less than 75 tons, right? Because that's maximum daily production per worker. Yeah, so even if we're a little off, in terms of worker count, which we will be, we should be fine. So one, two, and then from here, daily we produce 1.7 tons in a workday. So we'll need two of them. And two of them can be sustained by one of these to help a uranium conversion plant. Yeah, okay, we, we should be good. Uh, it was mentioned that I might be off with my math, and I might be. Uh, am, I, am I missing something here? Am I just, like, completely blanking or something? It's possible. It's possible. So please correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I got it right. Oh, I, I might be wrong, and that's making me a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I might, might have cacked something up there. So what we do need to do, though, is... Right, so these guys require 
these guys mine out uranium ore and these guys need it to turn into uranium oxide. So uranium ore is stored in a aggregate storage. We could get a large one in here, actually. Well, that works. Actually, that, that actually works a lot better than I would have anticipated. There's, oh, okay, this is... Oh, that's beautiful. All right, okay, so let's go ahead and demolish this. I was not expecting that. Oh, you know what? It's actually not going to work out because this is a high output. Uh, and, and that's why it's not going to connect over here. But that's not as bad as it could have been. So if we get a large aggregate storage over here, will you connect? You will not. You connect down over here, but not up over there. So what can we do to correct this? A uh, couple of things. Well, first of all, I think we're going to have to eat the coast up a little bit. Raise the train ever so slightly. Of course, we got to go into auto build. It better not auto build any of these buildings. Yeah, looks like we're good. Always get so nervous. Just a slight adjustment to the coast over here. Right? I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to overdo it. Reclaiming reclaiming land is, a, is an age-old practice by now, but... I don't want to, like, rely on it too much, I guess. Go ahead and level. Almost wonder if I shouldn't not level, but go even higher up. And I might do that. I might, like, sort of build an artificial cliff over here so that we don't have to worry about this road. Uh, where is my large aggregate storage? I will do the infrastructure. There we go. We can build this over here. It will have a connection. And I'm okay with the bottom connecting like so. Right, let's try something here. So height from center, auto build, raise some of this up. All right, there we go. Um, let's go ahead and demolish this road. Um, we don't have to demolish these guys, right? Because we're building the aggregate storage here and it'll if it connects, then we'll be fine. Should be. So hang on, where's my uh, conveyor connection up over here? Oh no, this is the forklift. Oh, okay. There, there's still so much to, to, to do over here. Okay, um, my bad. Back to R. Aggregate storage, there's a sun. That'll, that'll help me a little bit. Over to, sorry, storage. Large aggregate. So you can get everything from so many different spots. Um, so if you go down over here, wait, pause for a second here. Could we? We're not auto building. Yeah, excellent. Nudge this up a little bit further just to straighten it up. Oh. Right from center, auto build. Okay. Actually, let's go ahead and do that. That might actually work in my favor. Push you back. Height from center again. Yeah, this might actually work out nicely. Uh, more so than I'd anticipated before. So yeah, we get this hooked up like so. Make sure this is lined up as well. Why not? Why not get those right angles or as close to as right angles as we can when we can. Pop you down over here. We're not auto building. Come on. Register that click. There it is. All right. Now the road, can it go? No. Too steep over here. Can we smooth this out at all? Maybe that'll help. It's like the slightest bit. I don't know if it will help. My eyes are too steep. I don't blame it for that, uh, for that statement. Uh, if I get rid of this, can I adjust... a bit better. No, it's the footprint of this thing that's uh, kind of getting in my way. So right, let's go ahead and get rid of you. That's unfortunate because a lot of things are connecting nicely right now. Uranium processing plant. All right. Go ahead and move this out a bit more. A decent-ish connection here. Let's move this out a bit more as well. There we go. So if that works, will I be able to get this? Excellent, beautiful, that's exactly what I wanted. So we're able to drive underneath this, get over here. Uh, we should still be able to drive underneath this, get over here. We should still be able to get our uranium 
processing plant. Up like so. Gotta go ahead and demolish this. Where you at, buddy? There you are. Well, this is interesting. Not what I had initially anticipated. Could get that conveyor belt connection over here. But hang on. Demolish this road a little bit. This whole infrastructure thing can get a little uh, a little annoying. Not gonna lie. Like it's doing right now. Um, if I even demolish this one, will it still... No, because it doesn't like this either. Or this. Fair enough. So we can put you down, let's say, like, here-ish. Yeah, that looks good. Auto-build just to get the um, rain flattened. Might cause some issues with the road. We'll see. Pop you down here. The factory connection isn't auto-connecting, which is troubling. The conveyor belt and the road is, which is good. Let's, let's pop you down over here. This road, yeah, now it's not liking the, uh, the train over here. This little dip, I see. Auto build. Could try and smooth this out like that. See if that kind of like does the trick. It's a bumpy ride. At least it is a ride. Where is my conveyor belt? Will it still connect? No. Now it doesn't like the, uh, the height of this road. Alright, fair enough. That's not meant. Go ahead and cancel all that. Demolish this. I should have <laughs> should have not bothered with, uh, with that. Auto build height from center for you. Yep. There we go. Continue our road here. Bring that conveyor belt. Connection. Oh, don't do this to me again. You're working wonderfully. Don't do this to me now. Lower all this a bit. All right. Get that road connection in there. Get the conveyor belt. Okay, beautiful. That's I'm okay. I promise not to mess with you again. That is actually a nice smoother right now. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and uh, figure out a different solution for this. I can commission you, make it somewhat permanent in our minds, and processing plant. All right. I would like. Might be great if we could get. Uh, the conveyor belt to connect right over here, but we probably can't. That's fine. Oh, okay, okay. We could we could do this. We could do this. Go ahead and flatten the train some more. Level train right from center. Auto build mode. Go ahead and flatten this a bit more. As this all this flattening is going to be uh, an interesting endeavor. Hopefully that's enough. more. Auto build. Where did you go? Where was that sweet spot? There it is. Flatten that. What I can do is pop this down here. Maybe even down over here. Right. I wonder about the, uh, the factory connection is the only thing. If I pop this down over here, not auto building it. The factory connection, this won't, okay, messy, ugly, in fact. Get rid of this. Got a road crossing. Got a four way connection. Go ahead and get that four way connection over to here. I see we can still make this work. Quite nicely, in fact. 
First order of business, though, is we need our mod. Go ahead and unpause. Okay. Sorry, I had to pause for so long. Um, go ahead and get our road crossing. A little bit higher up now. That's fine. Right up over here. How's the road looking over here? Yeah, road's okay, I guess. Sure. Go ahead and flatten a bit more, though. Level terrain height from center. Auto build should be fine. Yeah. Just want to make sure we have room to play, you know. Alright. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Get that. Cross. Oh, sorry, yeah, road crossing. Up like so. That looks, I think, acceptable. Good curves, good angles. Hang on a second, I just realized something. Where is my forklift connection? Or not forklift, but... Yo, I made so much effort to make sure this would connect and then it doesn't. Are you kidding me right now? Don't you dare do this to me, game. <laughs> right, like, uh... Like so. Right? Yes, like so. It all connects. No, it doesn't. I think the game's lied to me. Me. Okay, not a problem. Well, actually, hold on. Is this a bottom connection, eh? Alright, so why don't we do this? Get rid of you. And instead of that, we go ahead and put in a tall one high output. No. One high input, six outputs. That's what we need over here. Copy down like this. That's still not going to work, eh? You kidding me, game? Come on, man. I literally... All the effort. There we go. Finally. Okay. But of course, all this road needs to be... Demolished. One high input, six output. Yes. Up you down. This game sometimes, man. Get this road out over here. I want to make sure it'll connect keeping the road in mind. Six out, oh, yes, okay, good, good, good. Can't believe the infrastructure up top there. Need flat terrain. Alright, I will do that without hesitation here. Where'd you go? There we go. Infrastructure is the problem. Demolish you. Watch, something else is going to come up and, and cause trouble. Wasn't I literally just looking at flattening this thing? Oh, there we go. There's actually a spot available now. Sure. Flatten. And... There, alright, cool. Road up over here, can you? Yes, you can. Excellent. Pull it up, and... Over. Oh, man, alright. Took more effort than I would like, but we're good. So now all of the conveyor belts are connected. Yes, we need our... Um, connection over here. Like so. Beautiful. And we need our connection over here. There we go. Beautiful. Great. <laughs> Commission that as well. Yikes. That was a bit of a struggle, but at least... Okay, good. Now we have the buffer over here. The question then becomes, how do we... Output this stuff? Uh, it produces... What does it produce? It produces uranium... Not ore, but uh, oxide, uranium oxide. I assume that it's delivered through um, forklifts, right? They're in little barrels. They get delivered through forklifts. So the same factory connection is what's going to be used. We've got the conveyor belt bringing in the uranium ore. Factory connections taking out the uranium oxide. All right, while that's happening, let's take a look. Or while, we're, while we have that in mind, let's take a look down over here and see if we have any jams. There's still no steel over here, which tells me that there's probably a jam somewhere. 
or not enough steel is coming down because it looks like we actually don't have a jam. Which is wild to me. Alright, great. What did I miss? I missed something. Must have been a silly mistake somewhere. Oh, I see. You're only loading 39%. You're unloading 50%. Foolish. Foolish of me. My apologies. Alright, let's go ahead and pop this up to... 100. I, I always misremember this as to be like 50% of what it is carrying right now. Okay. It'll, it'll get sorted. But hey, no jams. And that's uh, that in and of itself is pretty good. Topped up on fabrics over here. Plastics are being used up. No workers down over here. Oh, what do you know? Why don't we upgrade the uh, the footpaths over here? Make sure our workers can actually reach. I'm surprised they can't actually. Hmm. Could have sworn I'd measured this pretty carefully, or not measured, but you know I'd uh, been particular about its. Uh, about the creation of the space. Uh, what if we go to our roads over here and upgrade these roads? Get a little bit more walking distance out of these, right? Slightly higher walking speed makes a big difference. Yeah, that looks like it connects. All right, good, 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 good. So that should start. Turn that off. There we go. We got uh, we got stuff. We got people coming through. Nothing is being made, though, because without steel, I guess nothing really happens here, right? Okay. Oh, and of course, without <laughs> without forklifts, nothing happens either. So let's go ahead and add these guys as spots to drop off fuel. Yep. Let's go ahead and purchase not fuel forklifts. I believe our uh, forklifts are slightly better, right? We'll find out. Go ahead and purchase a bunch of these guys here as well. Come on. There we go. Cool. Just waiting for fuel. That'll be fine. And hopefully things will pick up over here. But things are moving. You're not carrying any plastic. You're not dropping off any plastics. Zodcha Warehouse, you should be dropping off plastics, yes. Bit of an oversight on my part there, that's fine. Not the end of the world. Cool. Back up north over here. So, let's go ahead and the reason why I did what I did down over here in terms of arrangement is because I wouldn't mind getting another uranium mine uh, over here as the plan was. Can't wait to be able to see quality percentages and stuff like that. Now, the radius isn't the full circle. Let's go ahead and auto build using rubles. The flap and the train, I think, over here. Because what, what is the size of this? I get like a rough visual. Like this, I think, should do the trick. Oh, we actually have a spot here. Almost meant to be. Where'd you go? There you are. Pop you like this. I get a little bit higher. Here, let's try that. Right, and the idea is that we will build high input and output you over to here. Come on. You can go with this bottom one, actually. Sure. Auto build. Nah, actually, that bottom one is too far down. Pop you down here. Flatten the terrain. Excellent. We can't build you to infrastructure, did it say? Okay, we got a spot there. Good. We'll pop you down. There we go. You know what? Great. Let's just go ahead and flatten a bit more. Just so we have a little bit of room to, to, to play, as it were. A bit of wiggle room never hurt anybody. So we pop you down over here. And then... Can this go all the way here? No, it can't. Fair enough. We'll be able to get one roughly in the middle here. Like so. And there you go. Beautiful. Well, you know, beautiful. Air quotes. Uh... So that way, we have two mines, when the time comes, uh, able to drop into that aggregate. We might want to make some adjustments, obviously, but that's uh, that's a consideration for later. 
like I'm fine with how this is right now. I don't know if I want to add more, um, uh, like more uh, processing plants here. If I do, I will hopefully be able to um, pull out from over here, right, and, and provide a new angle of support. Uh, it won't go to the aggregate storage, but I might have a separate aggregate storage somewhere. Uh, other options as well include, you know, maybe finding a, a way to get get one of these to, to pop out somewhere. I don't know, who knows? Who knows? Who, who, who knows? We'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there, I suppose. But we do have the aggregate over here. We have another uh, spot we can pull out over here as well. I do wonder... Hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, again, we could always do another aggregate up over here if necessary. We could also pull out and around. There's there's options. There's options down the line. Uh, the next order of business here, though, is going to be the conversion plant. Again, this takes two tons of uranium oxide. And it turns that into 0.96 tons of UF6. Which we only need approximately half of to create nuclear fuel. So, we can pop this guy up over here. We need a forklift garage, let's not forget. So if we go ahead and take a look at our modded forklift facility and the larger garage. We can pop you down over here, yeah. Nice little kind of spot to nestle it, I suppose. So pop you down over here. This road will turn around. Like so. And it'll have to go through. Not this, sorry, but uh, this. Pop you down like that. The road connected up over here to shuffle the turn. There we go. Beautiful. Keep this going. Gotta flatten a little bit. Gotta flatten a little bit. There we go. Leave straight out. Keep going, keep going. Do that for now. This will be able to connect, yeah. Oh, okay, that's a that's a huge climb. <laughs> Definitely need to clean that up. Definitely need to clean that up. Go ahead and height from center. Pop all this down. Eh, not too uh not too bad. Blowing out the side of this mountain over here. Come on. There's a big building as well. We actually might go even faster. I don't know if that's any faster. I mean, maybe. Maybe ever so slightly. Man. Such an undertaking. Probably spending millions upon millions of rubles in this war against soil once again. But it's fine. It's fine. We can afford it. Okay, flatten that up a little bit as well. Now the question is where and how do we connect to the uh, plant itself afterwards? That's the other question. So we've got our road that continues up this way, right? Bring you up to, uh, yeah, bring you up to there for now. Pop you over here. And if we take a look at energy, take a look at the conversion plant. Could we? Yeah, look at how things are massive. There's a couple ways we could connect over here. Go ahead and flatten some more. Height from center, yes. This is going to take some time. I wonder if uh, I take a slightly different approach to, uh, to how I plan this area out and produce this uh, this section. Maybe a uh, Maybe a slightly shorter episode, but one that comes paired with a time lapse is in order. Let me know what you think about that. Because part of the reason why with a new undertaking, I like kind of like working through it is because folks might notice something that I might slip up on. Like if I did mess up, mess up my math, again, I, I don't know if I did, but if I did mess it up, it'd be great. Or rather, it is great that it's been pointed out. I still can't catch it. I don't know what I'm messing up. Uh, if I, uh, you know, if I, if I misunderstand something, it can be pointed out, it can be caught. Uh, which is why when it's a new endeavor, I try not to uh, to time lapse and, and edit it like that. But if it's something we've done a thousand times before, then uh, then that's a different matter altogether. I don't know. Something I gotta I gotta I gotta balance that and I gotta figure out. But uh, 
Go ahead and flatten that. That's got to be enough room, right? Go ahead and pop. Again, that's one thing I would love to see as a quality of life change is just like make terraforming smoother, I guess is the way to put it. Right from center. Popping some of this some more as well. Just to allow that factory connection to actually come through properly. Yeah, that should give us enough room to play with afterwards. Cool. Uranium conversion plant. Oh, it doesn't doesn't want to connect, does it? Weird. I would like it wants like this rotation. Do this, but I want the road to be in a more convenient spot. I do this, I suppose. That just seems very messy. That is a, this is a strange, uh, strange circumstance to be in. Where does your limit lie? We'll pop this down over here. If we pop this down over here, right? It's not auto building. Just plot you down. Plot you down, rather. And if I go ahead and uh, too sharp of a turn, it says. Really? That's too sharp of a turn. I mean, I could always just do this, right? Like, it looks pretty clean. I like a good 90 degree turn like that does the job. We've already got the forklifts working over here, so why not, I suppose? It makes for easy road access as well. And if we want to continue this onwards, we can. That's always an option, too. So maybe that's actually the right way to go about it. I mean, <laughs> I know it looks like we didn't get that much further out, but but we did. We definitely did. We got the uh, aggregate storage over here, um, which I think will make a pretty big difference in, in just like how this whole thing operates, which is, again, that's what I mean. That got pointed out to me in the comments. Reminded me of like kind of buffer storage. Excellent reminder. I'm glad it came like came up. Because otherwise we would have this would have been a bit of a nightmare potentially. Uh, so I'm definitely glad we cleaned this up and we got this working. These fires are hopefully fine. I think they'll be okay. Um, this is all working. That's great. We got our little processing going on over here. This is all working fine. So that's that's, that's looking good. I'm, I'm pretty pleased yeah with how this is uh, coming together so far. Uh, the, the plant itself will probably be like up over here. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. I think up on that hilltop. Uh, but I think getting the nuclear, uh, getting the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, like get, getting the, getting the isotope up there, I guess, is, is probably going to be done through, a. Uh, um, words are failing me right now. Forklifts. I think, I assume, I don't know if trucks take it or if forklifts take it, so I'll have to check in on that. Uh, so depending on that, we'll have to kind of watch our slopes and how steep they are and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, I mean, as the sun sets on our nation, uh, so too does it set on another session. Our developments continue. Next session, we will actually, I think next session, I will fully, fully focus on the, uh, the nuclear developments over here, um, rather than get distracted. It was not the plan to be distracted for as long as I was distracted for today. Uh, but I think those distractions were well worth it because now we have this, uh, this area operational as well and it looks like it's all working at least somewhat smoothly uh, the the delivery of <laughs> of goods itself aside it looks like at least the trains are operating smoothly which is you know what in my humble opinion <laughs> for my uh for my usual pains i would say it's a uh, it's a good kind of high note for for today's session for sure folks i hope you enjoyed this session um if you did you know what to do let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below Again, I promise, next session we're going to focus on that nuclear expansion. I, I, I promise you this. It will be our focus. Uh, unless an emergency comes up, it'll be the only thing we work on. On the topic of emergencies, actually, let me just take a quick peek over here. Right, these guys are definitely safe from, from fires and things like that. They've, they've got coverage. Over here, we're making some good progress as well. Yeah, it looks to be the case. Cool. All right, folks. For real now, that's the session. Hope you had a good time. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, das vidanya.